Hey everyone, Silicat2 here. Welcome back for more Golden Sun Lost Age. In the last episode, we uh, encountered Cannon here, and he apparently does not even want us to fight him because he keeps pounding us through the floor. So what are we going to do about that? We are going to go up this way and solve a puzzle to get the drop on him, quite literally, in fact. Actually, what the heck am I saying? We don't even need to solve a puzzle. There's only like one hole there. Impatient, 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 impatient. There we go. Okay, there's two holes, so yeah. Some puzzle, right? <coughs> Clonk! Sorry, dude. You're the one who was pounding me. That's what she said. Anyway, the Pound Cube, it is a Mars... Technically a Mars Elemental Synergy, but it cannot be used in battle, so its element never really comes into play at all. Anyway, once we have encountered Cannon, what we can do is... If you try to chase him across, he'll just hop across the destructible pillar and we will not be able to get to him. So instead, we pound the poundable pillar here. And we can fight him this way. Yeah, I got you now, you... thing. This is Cannon! He has 203 HP and 18 PP. He knows the Synergy's Flare and Blast. Blast is a somewhat powerful Mars Synergy that, uh... can hit multiple targets. Not really much to be said about that. I think it's more powerful than Flare, but... Not by much. Speaking of synergy, everybody's really low on HP all of a sudden, so let's help Felix clear him up a bit. He ran! Uh. Let's try that again. La 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 Yeah, I got you and now you annoying troll Jim, you. Fail. Okay, now that he's wrapped in delusion, his attacks are more likely to miss. Let's finish the job. By healing ourselves! <laughs> I'm so crazy. You only have 200 HP, why are you so hard to kill? Yeah, see, his blast is more powerful than his flare. So that's something to watch out for. Got him! We are going to equip you on Jenna, and you will never see the light of day again because you are annoying. <clears throat> nope, I said Jenna. There we go. Alright, that's taken care of. Uh, it's actually a pretty short ways out from here, uh... I want to see what's behind that pillar. Is there anything behind that pillar? All you guys die. Jenna just leveled up again, or at least I think that was Jenna. Oh, and we're just back up here, okay. That is irrelevant to our interests right now, so we'll be going back and we'll be leaving this place pretty soon. 
Yeah, this staircase means it's the last screen in this road dungeon place. Can make a shortcut of sorts here. In case we need to get back to Dahlia. I mean, Dyla. Dahlia, what? This isn't Phoenix Wright. East Indra Shore! Welcome to the boat! <coughs> Look! It's Minardi's ship! It looks a lot bigger than last time we saw it. <laughs> Doesn't look like they sailed here, though. Of course not. They were killed at the layhouse, weren't they? Do you think it could have drifted here? That's the only thing I can think of. Actually, no, no. <laughs> How else could it have come to be here, Felix? If we had that thingy Satyrus had, we could just take their boat. For all we know, the orb is at the bottom of the sea with them. Well, there's no point in hanging around out here all day. Let's go see about finding ourselves a ship we can use. Uh, but... Oh, never mind. We don't have frost, so we can't get the thing that's here. Dang it, you frost puddle thingy things! There's a cave here, Indra Cavern, and we will be getting a new. We will be introduced to a new feature in this game, which is summon tablets. Just to solve the small puzzle here, do the thing with the thing and the other thing and the thing and the thing. It looks Sam the Stone Tablet. The tablet breaks apart in the, into runes which are then absorbed into your skull. You can now summon Zagan. To summon Zagan, one Venus, one Mars standby gin are needed. <clears throat> I'll have to get back to you on whether it's a Venus or a Mars summon. I think it might be a Mars summon in terms of element, but... Actually, no, I'm not sure what its added effect is. All of the summon tablets have added effects, and new enemy alert! This is the Rat Soldier. These are returning enemies from the first Golden Sun. They have 69 HP, they are weak to Mars and strong to Mercury. So, we are going to do that. They have a small chance of running away, which is kind of annoying, but, eh, what you gonna do? They have a 1 in 16 chance of dropping a smoke bomb. Shiba Master Plasma, that is a multi-targeting multi Jupiter Elemental Synergy attack. It's pretty useful, but it's more expensive than, uh, in terms of PP costs than Volt and Whirlwind. You can show it off right now. Lightning, baby! Yeah! And yeah, that totally should have taken you out. Oops. Uh, in the forest here, we have a chance of running into the Venus Ginny Iron. He has 223 HP, 49 PP, and he knows the synergy Growth and Quake. Growth is an attack that is pretty much the signature move of the Brute Adept class. It can be used on the field to grow out plants, as you saw earlier in the uh, Golden Sun Let's Play. I don't use it enough to really care how it performs in battle. It's multi-targeting Venus Elemental, that's really all there is to be said about it. But, now we have the Venus Genie Iron, we can bolster the entire party's defense. Not bad. Alright, so, now we've done that. There is actually, there are actually two more enemies we can encounter here, but we'll be getting to those at some point later. Welcome to Madra! You there, hold your ground! What seems to be the trouble? Just wait there. Hmm. 
They don't look like they're Champa. I agree. Sorry for the delay. You may pass. What were you checking us for? Our town was sacked by pirates. They'd come to free their leader, Briggs. They came from the east, a small party, and we repelled them with ease. But then foreigners struck from the west, exploiting a weak point near our prison. That's over now, though. Feel free to relax and enjoy your time here safely. I doubt the Chompa could come up with that plan on their own. I ain't even sure that strange boat we found up north is even theirs. This Chompa curs dug a hole here to sneak into Madra. To think it was just a decoy so they could break into the prison. What a crazy plan. I guess I'm showing around the sides. Just a really big hole. No we could dig out much in a short time without us noticing, you think? Maybe we'll learn Bringa's whereabouts from that captured Chompa. We have some minor upgrades to armor here. Jenna can get the padded armlet and uh, leather armlet, excuse me, in place of her padded gloves. Can get leather boots for everybody. I highly recommend these over the uh, artifact, the turtle boots, because turtle boots have a very bad impact on your agility, and it's kind of useful to be able to go fast. There's also safety boots, which do the same thing, but again, I just recommend the leather boots. Jenna can also get a circlet in place of her leather cap. And we can actually sell Felix's short sword and Sheba's wooden stick. Uh, we can also sell the mysterious card. We don't have a need for that now. As for weapons that can be bought here, we have the long sword and the battle axe, and the mace. Mace is weaker than a shaman's rod. I don't really recommend it for anybody. However, we are also introduced to artifacts. As you see here, we have a magic rod. I'm going to give that to Jenna because Sheba is more our synergy attacker. Magic rod has a small chance of unleashing an attack called Merc which puts enemies to sleep. Pretty useful. And for armor artifacts I believe we are... okay we got nothing. Actually the artifact we want is actually in that treasure chest up there so let's Head 30 in. Quakes, Pyrotax, what a week. I hope those Champa don't come back for a rematch. Our inn is quite safe. The Champa themselves couldn't fight their way in. <laughs> you must have some. You must have one heck of a soldier staying here. What do you know? It's the guys from Colosso! Hey guys! We're heading to Tolby. We hear there's a tournament there called Colosso. I'm Morgan, and this here's Decca. We're gonna compete and we're gonna win. Hey, if you see a gladiator named Isaac, give him a message for me. If he's thinking about going to Colosso this year, he doesn't stand a chance of winning. Wasn't Colosso like a few days ago? Whatever. I slept right through the pirate raid! It's too bad though. I would have given those pirates the thumping of a lifetime. Worthy. Thought my partner and I were an injured when the Chompa attacked. Yeah, merchants like you would probably be kind of in danger. The Champa were swarming over the village, but I screamed like the Dickens and scared them off. It's true! <laughs> you sure? Let's check the chest. Felix got a nurse's cap! The nurse's cap is an item that can be used for healing. It offers a small defensive boost. I'm going to be putting that on Sheba for now. I'm going to sell her circle at a later point. And this is actually a good place to end the episode off. There are uh, three enemies here that I didn't have the chance to talk about. We we'll, I will be discussing their bios as they come up in the Let's Play. 
But for now, this is a good place to end the episode off. So, if you like this part, subscribe to my videos. Big, bu big yellow button up top. Give me a thumbs up down below this video. And be sure to check out my other stuff. This is Silly Cat 2. I will be seeing you next time if I'm in the mood. I don't know. It's just one of those Let's Play things. I just haven't been doing it very much, you know? Sorry.